Welcome to TechSpot Solutions. In this video, we'll show you how to fix the Kex Exchange Identification Connection closed by remote host error on Ubuntu server. This is a brand new Ubuntu server, so we need to enable SSH first. To do this, we will install OpenSSH. First, we need to ensure that the Ubuntu server is up to date by performing system updates. Let's type sudo apt update. Depending on the last time the system was updated, the process may take some time as it needs to download and install the latest package information and updates from the software repositories. The duration can vary based on the server's internet speed and the number of updates available. Now let's type the command sudo apt install open ssh server and hit enter. Press Y to continue. Now the OpenSSH installation is completed. To clear the screen, let's enter the command clear. The next thing we gotta do is set up a firewall rule so that we can let those incoming SSH connections through. This way, we can get remote access to the server using SSH. Let's type the command sudo ufw allow SSH. Alright, let's check the status of the SSH service by running the command sudo system ctl status SSH. This will tell us if the service is up and running. Next, we need to allow the root user to SSH into the server. To do that, we'll edit the slash etc slash SSH slash SSHD underscore config file. Look for the line that says permit root login in the file. It might be commented out with a hashtag at the beginning. We'll remove the hashtag if it's there and change the value to yes. So it should look like this, permit root login yes. Once we've made the change, let's save the file and exit the text editor. After modifying the SSH configuration, we'll need to restart the SSH service to make the changes take effect. We can do that by typing the command sudo system ctl restart ssh. This will apply the new configuration. By following these steps, we'll be able to verify the ssh service status and allow the root user to ssh into the server. Alright, time to give it a shot and ssh into the Ubuntu server using the root account. Go ahead and enter the command ssh root at IP address. It will prompt you for the password. Type in the password and hit enter, and voila! We're in! We've successfully logged into the server using SSH as the root user. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this tutorial helpful in enabling SSH and allowing root user SSH access on your Ubuntu server. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching.